those ships in the United States Navy's mothball fleet, none have a more gallant record than these battle-scarred veterans of the submarine forces. For these are the ships that in the first days after Pearl Harbor, not only joined in the responsibility of holding our lifelines secure, but carried the war to the enemy himself. This story is about one of these ships and one of her men, Kenneth White.
right slowly. Steady on course. Three, four, five. Steady as you go. Steady as you go.
here in the darkness, I wondered. Wow. Guess I'll have to let my belt out again. You're sure we're not running you short? Oh, no. We have plenty for everybody. I see where you guys stole it off. You would if you've been eating on Okinawa for the last two months. <laughs> nice looking schooner. Oh, thank you, sir, but that's a catch, not a schooner. Oh. Of course, it's a little hard to tell now until I get a rig. How long do you think she ought to be when I build my big one? Oh, 30 feet? 60. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Might as well make it 100 as long as you're dreaming. Dreaming? Mister, I joined the Navy to see the world, cruise the seven seas. What happens? I spent 12 years underwater. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, the day I get out, I'm going to start building this baby. While you guys are worried about paying the rent, I'll be laying on some beach in the South Seas. Half a dozen babes fanning me with palm leaves. Oh. <laughs> Not me. I'm going to settle down in Joplin, Missouri. Why Joplin, Missouri? Because there ain't an ocean within 1,500 miles in any direction. <laughs> <laughs> what are you army guys going to do when it's over? We're going to join the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> How was it topside? Nice. Calm and peaceful. Feels like the war's over already. My guess it is. I wonder what's in store for us now. You got me. I've never been around when they wound up a war before. Whatever we draw, though, it won't be glamorous. Well, at least you stay alive. Sure, but I got news for you. Peacetime service is no picnic either. You'll find out when you're the forgotten man. Worse than the forgotten man, because you'll still be around to get in people's hair. You'll find yourself stuck with dull office jobs, a lot of paperwork. You'll see people out of the service, people getting ahead in the world, making big money. And all you'll have is the knowledge that if the country needs you again, it'll need you desperately. Well, it's something. If you're a naval officer, it has to be everything. Don't kid yourself, Ken. From here on in, it'll take plenty. Well, I gotta finish this to Alice. Give her my best, will you? Yeah, sure. Captain speaking. Very well, I'll be right up. Station to Dragon Party, Ken. I think we got business. <laughs> And two escorts. Nothing much to ride home, boss. Probably our last shot, sir. Battle station, torpedo. Can your battle station, torpedo? Aye, aye, sir. Ship's ready to dive. Right, I got it. Ken, can you spot him in the periscope? They bear zero, three, five. On bearing. Got him in the periscope. Clear the bridge. Dive, dive. <laughs> Now get this on the leading ship. 
Angle on the bow, 30 port. Mark range. Range, 1300. Mark bearing. Set. Stand by. Fire. One fired. Two fired. Three fired. Second ship, Mark. 35 port. Mark range. Range, 1300. Mark bearing. Set. Fire. Four fire. Five fire. Six fire. Right full rudder. Right full rudder. Sunk about 18 already, haven't you? First torpedo should be hitting about now. Nineteen. Bingo! <laughs> hey, excuse me, sir. Now get this on the tanker. She turned away, no shot. Let's take a look. I tailing it for shallow water. Escorts and all. Secure the stern tubes. Secure the stern tubes. That was good work, Ken. Maybe we can still get her. What's the sounding? 18 fathoms under the keel, sir. Oh, that's too shallow. We'd need wheels to catch her. Let's stick around the escorts clear off. Then we'll service and see what we can pick up. Maybe we can find somebody who will tell us the latest Japanese news. Here, let me have a look.
when they go click, boom, like that, you don't have to worry. Yeah, but watch out when they go click, boom. You see what I mean? Yeah. After battery reports leak at number three vent casting. Repair party to the after battery. Repair party to the after battery.
you were in San Francisco. She was. <laughs> Having the time of her life with me. We heard the tiger shark was coming. I was dying to see you, so we came down. How'd you happen to get mixed up with this character? He came in a couple of months An ago. An amazing coincidence. I hit town, checked all the phone books, called all the advertising agencies, caught a cab, three streetcars, walked six blocks, and just happened to bump into her. What are we waiting for? Come on, we're going to have a big party at the Blue Room. Get the rest of the gang, grab a table, and old daddy here will show you how to belt the grape. I'm afraid I'll have to join you later. I've got to see someone in Coronado. Oh, Ken, not now. Can I come with you? No, you go with Pete. Well, what if you get lost? Where do we send for the body? Rice's house. I'm going to see his wife. Or rather, his widow. I'll see you later.
car deal. Captain Cornwell's wife called about the incinerator. 
Again? She found soot on the dining room rug this time. And Commander Roberts says there are orange peels on Pier 2. Tell the Commander we'll send him a broom so we can get one. Why are you speaking? Yes, sir, right away. Admiral Rice probably found an apple core under his desk. about two weeks. By that time, it'd be all over except the peace treaty. Hey, Gavin, here's a good one. See lots of action. Twenty Jap flags on the conning tower. Is it okay to get a shot of it? Yes, go ahead. Twenty flags? I mean, she's sank twenty ships. What's her name? Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark? I read something about her. You could have. She's the one who lost her captain the day the war ended, right? That's right. The officer who had to take it down must have felt like a heel. I bet he had a lot of sleepless nights after that. Happen to know who he was? Yes. Who? Me. Excuse me, Commander. He called it right. That officer must have felt like a heel. Who's back? If it had ever really gone away. I was still the one-day warrior who had lost captain and quartermaster in his only enemy action. Who had I been kidding? Carol? Who was it? Oh, that was Pete Morris. He's coming over for dinner. Doesn't he have any other place to go? Why, darling. Oh, I know. Poor Pete. Two years in the hospital, three operations, grounded, and the very tough duty of teaching naval ROTC. All right, I'll call him back. Tell him I've got jaundice. Just what have you got? Nothing. Something happened today, didn't it? What makes you think that? I can tell. I'm fed up. With what? With lots of things. The monotony, the routine, being a clerk and a janitor and a glorified errand boy all rolled up into one. Ken, why don't you change your job? Oh, sure. Just call the chief of naval operations. Tell him I want to command the Atlantic fleet. Well, it just so happens I can't change jobs, and you know that. I'm in the Navy, remember? I could hardly forget it. You can't forget that you gave up a $300 a week job to marry me, can you? I better set the table. Carol hadn't deserved that. Not any of it. I wanted to apologize, but I didn't know how. So, like every husband in the world, I hoped that a gift and a party at the club might substitute for the words I couldn't find. More signatures. And two other items. A new chief outside reporting for duty. And a call from Parsons over at the reserve fleet. He wants to know if we have any qualified submarine men. Why? They just got orders to put the tiger shark back in commission. They're short-handed. Tiger shark? How they happen to pick her? I don't know. Well, we haven't anyone. Should I call Parsons? No, I'll take care of it. 
this the uh, garbage disposal unit of the United States Navy? Hi, Pete. Hi. Wow. Mm. You strike oil? Oh, sure. Mm. Gold wrist watches, parties. How do you do it? Because I'm an honest working man, not a playboy at a university like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Teaching naval ROTC is a lead pipe cinch. No courses to give outside of navigation, gunnery, engineering, naval history, naval customs and traditions, communication, ship handling, two or three afternoons a week drilling, one night a week with a naval reserve unit, two nights preparing examination papers and three nights correcting them, and eight nights and Sundays trying to keep ahead of my students, most of whom are not sure they want to be in the Navy in the first place. Yeah. And in my spare time going to parties like yours. I got a change. You ready? I got some calls to make. I'm going to see if you talk. Uh, Sir? Chief Torpedo and Boyer reporting for duties. Oh, Boyer, this is a surprise. Uh, where'd you drop in from? San Diego. You remember Commander Morris? Oh, very well. How are you, Boyer? How's the Navy been treating you? Well, good. Thank you. Well, I, I thought you'd be retired by now, out to sea on that schooner of yours. Are you still thinking about it? Sir, I request a transfer to another department. Why? You should be the last person in the world to ask that. All right, Boyer. Report to the reserve fleet. They've got just the job for you. Yeah, yeah. 
Now that we can still be ready for dock trials. Yeah, so I hear. You know, I believe I'd like to put in for submarine duty myself. Stand back. Where is it? Looks like the forward virus. Keep everybody out of here. All right. Did you get it isolated? In the forward battery, sir, there's a man in there. Get in as fast as shooting some CO2 cylinders. Coming down the hatch now. There's a chance for that to open the door. You'd last about 30 seconds. But there's a man in there, sir. Yeah, I can take his chances. By Captain Rice and Perkins. I went by the book once with you. And you'll go by the book again. I'll get that suit on. I'll stand by this hose here. Here, hold down. Trip the battery disconnect switches in the control room. Ready? Get a line on it. Bring those CO2 bottles. Get them in there when they open up. Coffee, darling? Yeah, I'll get it. 
Anything interesting? Yeah, a chance to become a captain of industry, Matthews Electric Company. Wow. Dear Commander White, we are in need of a man experienced in maintenance and personnel work. That's me. Suggested to us by Admiral Joshua Rice. Nice of him, huh? I assure you the arrangement with contract will be more than satisfactory to you. Sign A.E. Matthews, President. Sounds terrific, and especially the part about the arrangements. I wonder why Rice picked me. Well, why wouldn't he? You have the background for it. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about Portland? I hear it's wonderful. Means buying umbrellas, long underwear, and finding a good thick roof. They have lots of nice houses near the plant. Where'd you hear that? Oh, I think I read it somewhere. What was the name of that businessman you had lunch with a couple of months ago? He used to write copy about his refrigerators. A. E. Matthews, if I remember correctly. What kind of a fool do you think I am, and how long do you think I'd stay a fool? Now, maybe you thought I might go for it, playing puppet while you jiggle the strings. What does Matthews get out of this? You're going to write his advertising copy for free? I only said if there ever was... And what about the Admiral? You're going to do his advertising, or did you cry on his shoulder about the hardships of Navy life? I simply asked his advice, and he agreed with Pete that it was... Pete? Well, who'd you miss? What about the mailman? What'd he think? Did you write the newspaper? Did you write your congressman? All right, Ken, all right. I'm sorry about the job. And I know now that I was wrong going about it this way, but I honestly thought it was a solution. For what? For us. Oh, Ken, you're at war with your job and with yourself and with me. And something has to give. Do you want it to be our marriage? You know I don't. Then you've got to make a change. Meaning Portland? Meaning any kind of a job. Get a farm, take a painting, anything. Only can get us out of our trouble. And you think leaving the Navy will do that? I do. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Otherwise, the Admiral wouldn't have backed you up.
to call the packing house, make reservations. Portland won't work. I can't beat this thing by running out on it. Give me back the paper, Ken. It's got the number of the packing house on it. I want to get my things moved out. Look, Carol, Please, Ken. maybe we can talk it over. We have. We've beaten the subject to death. You can't seem to solve your problem in Portland and... I can't solve mine in the Navy. Isn't that right?
sure send you on long trips. Yeah. 8,000 miles, brother. 8,000 miles. For what? Lifeguard duty, says the log. Well, in my log, it says rain, snow, and sleep. Nothing to do but float around like an empty rubber raft. I suppose you'd rather be on home there with a couple of million reds on your tail. You don't have to go to extremes. Listen, sailor, if you're floating around in anything, it's a six million dollar efficiency apartment with free light, heat, radio, air conditioning, mail delivered by destroyers, and the best chow in the world. There's only one thing wrong with this ship. What's that? I hope you never have to find out. Seems colder. Wind shifted. I'm about to lose both feet. Barton will be up in a couple of minutes to relieve you. I got the mail sorted out yet? Not yet. That'll make Christmas seem a little more like Christmas. I wonder if Santa Claus ever came down a periscope. Permission to come up on the bridge, sir. Granted. Sorry, Arnie. I stopped to listen to the news from Hung Nam. How was it? Right on schedule. Beachhead's still holding. They're moving men and equipment off as fast as they can load them. How many to go? Over 20,000. What's the dope? I'll see you below. We're steering 355 crew. Standard speed, main engines one and two on the line. Safety and negative are flooded. Ship's ready for diving. Right. Door? Yes, sir. That mail from the destroyer been sorted yet? Yes, sir. The other officers have this, sir. Right, thank oh, you. Boy, oh boy. One thing about Sue, she's a handy girl with a fountain pen. Yeah.
How did you get here? Simple. I told him I didn't want sea duty. Besides, I figured you'd be lonely out here. What's the latest bulletin on the home front? All quiet? And you're not worried? Worried? What about? Well, for one thing, her quitting her job. Didn't she write to you? Well, the most impersonal hello in history. Well, didn't you read between the lines? Could be the message was there. Message? Well, come on. What is this about her quitting her job? I think you'd better ask her. I'm asking you. It's a funny thing. I seem to have left my Western Union card in my other suit. Gentlemen, the Admiral is waiting. By Christmas Day, we hope to complete the evacuation of the Hong Nam beachhead. So far, everything has gone smoothly. But here, about 30 miles from the coast, is a prison camp. In it, with perhaps 200 other Americans, are Colonel Garson Walsh and his special intelligence team. The Colonel and his men are believed to possess information that will be immensely valuable to us in the future. What kind of information, Admiral? I don't know the details, but it must be pretty hot. The orders are to get these men out. Paratroopers flying in from Tokyo will effect the actual rescue, while British and Commonwealth destroyers conduct diversionary raids further up the coast. Now, about our part in the operation. A study of reconnaissance photographs by Commander Morris indicates that the only possible route for the paratroop planes is directly over Koyosan. But there are two big obstacles. Here, at Point Nakomo, the enemy has an air search radar station. And here, at Koyosan itself, is his telephone center. Both of these installations will have to be knocked out before our planes approach. That's where you come in, Commander. You will land parties at the two points tonight, receive from them signals of the success of their mission, and then radio me the all's well. You will be given all further details by Commander Morris. Commander Morris? He's going with you. Actually, the whole deal hinges on us. Unless the Reds are completely surprised, they'll massacre the prisoners. And to surprise them, we have to cut their communications. That's our job. Major Kim of the South Korean Army, Lieutenant Barton and myself, we're responsible for the radar station. They'll be put off in a rubber boat here at Point Nakomo. They'll go ashore and lay low for approximately an hour. Meanwhile, the Tiger Shark will proceed down the coast to the entrance of the harbor here. That's where you two frog men will be slept over the side. It's going to be a long swim. Harbor's mine. We can't go in. Yes, sir. At exactly 0430, both parties will proceed to destroy their objectives. As soon as you've done this, send me your signals. I'll inform the carrier. Any question? Captain, we've sighted Point Nakomo bearing 295. Very well. Be ready in 15 minutes. You all set, Chief? Yes, sir. Lower away. Put it out easy, boys. Keep her close alongside. Barton, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Steady on course 175. Steady on course 175. 
three minutes to swim in from the breakwater and knock out the telephone center. There's plenty of time, sir. Well, it better be. Because if you're late and the word's relayed that the radar station's been destroyed, the whole operation's cooked. That's all. Captain. Chief Engineer requests permission to secure the starboard main motor. What's the trouble? Bearing's running hot. How long to fix it? Can't tell yet, sir. At least a half hour. Arnie, make all the speed you can on the port propeller. Pull an overload if you have to. Bear a hand with the repairs. We've got to make it. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. The radar station is about a quarter mile away. Two sentries patrol the station in the wide circle. Another man patrols near the shack. We slip through the first two and... And take the third one. We kill the third commander. Quietly. I'll use his uniform. After you set the charges, I'll cover you from the antenna post. Good. You let the clear out before the detonator goes off. Once we set the timer, it's out of our hands. I'll manage. Let's have at it. How far to go now? The harbor entrance, six miles. We can make as much time dragging the anchor. There it is. Check 
book you got there? The Bible. The bu Keep it there. Rudder midships. Rudder midships. Steer 225. Steer 225, aye. Line her up to let the frogmen off.
ship. Carry out demolition orders. Tiger Shark. 